Hello guys, welcome back to SDRV Tech class. This is Prabhavati Kundurgi. So this is the lecture 9, part 2. Okay, so in the part 1, we have seen whether the unitary site is a group or not. Of course, this is a group. Okay, so now we, we, we are going to solve some problems which is to, depending upon this unitary set. Okay, so here my question, construct u of 20. Okay, so for constructing this u of 20, first what you have to know, so first you should know the definition. So what is the definition of u of n which is nothing but u of n is equal to x belongs to n and that x is lies between 1 and n. Okay, and the GCD is what? So GCD should give you that x comma n is equal to 1. So now let us check whether this is satisfied for here or not. So solution, I'm going to solve this one. So here my given n is what? Which is nothing but u of 20. Okay, so first I'm going to write the definition. According to definition, I'm going to set this one. Uh, so this u of 20 contains so uh, elements so those are if your element is a x then that x is belongs to what natural numbers as well as this x is lies between or equal to 1 and n here your n is what which is nothing but 20 okay so and what is another condition so that another condition is nothing but gcd of x comma n but here your n is 20 which gives you 1 if these two conditions are satisfied then you can write those elements in your unitary set okay so now we will check so which this is what mod 20 so now we will check so how many elements are satisfied for this or not okay so this is u of 20 okay so first I am going to take a n as a 1. Okay, so if I take a n as a 1, n means what? So not n, x. Okay, so here this is x, right? So of course this 1 is belongs to n. Okay, so first uh, check uh, this one and this one, these two conditions. So here of course this 1 is what? Which is, is equal to 1 and also this 1 is what? Lesser than 20. Okay. So, 1 is which is greater than 20. Therefore, and also check GCD of, so GCD of 1 comma 20, which is what? Which is a 1. So, here your two conditions are satisfied. Then you can write this 1 in your unitary set. Okay. So, now let us take uh, x as a 2. Of course, this 2 is belongs to what? Your natural numbers. And this 2 is what? Which is a greater than 2. But 2 is a greater, right? 2 is greater than this 1. And 2 is less than 20. It means 2 is lies between, lies between this 1 and 20. So first condition is satisfied. So now let us take a second condition. So that is nothing but what? X comma 20 means 2 comma 20. But GCD of 2 comma 20 is 1. No, GCD of this 2 comma 20 is what? Which is a 2. It means here it fails the given condition. Therefore, this x does not belong to your u of n guys. Okay? Are you understand this thing? So next I am going to take a x as a 3. Of course, this 3 belongs to natural number and... So now apply this conditions. So this 3 is a lies between 1 and 20. So here first condition is satisfied and what is the second one? GCD of 3 comma 20. So what is the GCD of 3 comma 20? Of course it is a 1. It means here your two conditions are what satisfied. Then you can write this is what 3 is belongs to U of 20. Okay, so next, and check a 5. So, uh, sorry, 4. If you take a 4, of course, 4, 20, the GCD of this 2 thing is not belongs to 1. It means it fails here. So, 4 does not belongs to. Then, go to 5. 5, 20 is. Uh, so, here also GCD is not satisfied. If you go for 6, so here also GCD is not satisfied. So just I am going to take a 7. 
So the GCD of 7, 20 is what? So this is 1. Therefore, 7 is belongs to what? U of 20. Okay. So if you just and check in uh, so just to do my calculation so this is very easy okay so here 8 is not satisfied and but 9 is satisfied 10 is also not not satisfied but 11 is satisfied and 13 is satisfied as well as 17 and 19 is satisfied here guys okay so if you just do it so just uh, i shown you three pro uh, for three elements so you can just i just do the mind calculation and i have written here okay so here what is the cardinality of this u of 20 so the cardinality is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it means 8 why it is it because the u of 20 has eight elements the total number of element present in this u of 20 is what so that is eight okay so this is very easy guys just do it and if you get any doubts so you can put your comment in my comment section otherwise you can contact me through my whatsapp group okay so there is my whatsapp group so you just send your queries on there okay so now let us see another example so this is our second question in this video let, let me read the question find inverse of each element of u of 15 and yes is equal to x belongs to u of 15 and here the given definition is what x universe is equal to x and find cardinality of the set guys okay so for finding the universe first what we have to do means first you have to construct the u of 15 okay so how to construct the u of 15 so we in the first example only i was explained right so just and construct like that only okay so solution for this so first i'm going to construct this one so according to definition u of 15 which is, is equal to if your x belongs to natural number then what is the condition your x is less between 1 and 15 and another condition is what gcd of that x comma 15 is what which is, is equal to 1 okay then with mod 15 mod 15 okay so what uh, so according to this if you check this one so u of 15 is what so just to take one so one is always present here but two two comma 15 gives you what one therefore two belongs to but three comma gcd of three comma 15 is not a one so three does not come and 4, 4, 15 is 1 and GCD of 6, 15 is also 1 mm, then goes to 7 then 7, GCD of 7, 15 is also what? 1 and the next one is what? 8 and 9 and also no, no 9 and 15 is come under 3 so 9 is not come here next one is what? 10 so 10 will not come so 11, 15 is 1 so next one is what? 13 and 40 so these all are elements are present in our unitary 15. Okay, so u of 15. So how I have written these all things, just uh, watch the previous video. It means previous examples, guys. Okay, so you have to do my calculation for this thing. So now here, what is the unitary? So u of 15, the cardinality of this u of 15, which is nothing but 8. Just to count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6 comma 15 oh sorry 6 will not come because 6 and 15 what is the gcd here so here gcd is 3 therefore 6 will not come so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so cardinality of this u of 15 is what 8 so what they told all and also they told for us for finding the inverse of each element okay so now you have to find the inverse of each these elements okay so and also in that set you have to write this condition if inverse if you take a uh, one inverse if one inverse is equal to one then only you have to write that elements in your set okay so first one inverse is always what one and what is the two inverse 
So t two inverse which is nothing but what eight. So how it is eight guys? Does anybody know this thing? If you don't know, just look at your a x is mod one is called what mod of okay. So just look at here. So here this a is what. So two. So now find the two inverse. Okay. So how to find this two inverse, which is nothing but uh, a x. So it means uh, a means what? So we don't know that a, but here our x is two. We don't know here this a. Just leave this blank. And here this is a one, and this is what this is a mod fifteen. Okay. So when it is possible, so the only thing is what you have to keep here eight. Eight to the sixteen. Sixteen minus one is fifteen, and fifteen divides fifteen. Therefore, two inverse is what, which is nothing but eight. Okay. So next comes to four inverse. It means four multiply one and mod fifteen. Mod fifteen. So when it is possible. So if you take four to the this is eight, it is also not possible. Four three is the twelve also not possible. Four four is the sixteen. Sixteen minus one is fifteen. Fifteen divides fifteen. Therefore four inverse is what which is a four. And what is the next element? Seven inverse. So seven into mod one and mod what? Fifteen. So when it is possible here, so here. Possible seven tons of seven forty nine. So this is also not possible here. So this is possible only in thirteen guys. Okay. Therefore seven. What is the this seven inverse which is nothing but what thirteen. Okay. So what is the next elements? So take a eight. So eight inverse. Okay. So what is your eight inverse? So your eight inverse is nothing but what? That is two. Okay. So next one is what? Eleven. So eleven inverse is what? Eleven only. So next one is what? So eight inverse is finished. So then come to thirteen inverse. That thirteen inverse is nothing but what? Seven. Next the remaining number is fourteen. The fourteen inverse is also what? Fourteen. Okay. So these all are inverse. So now I find the inverse of these all. But what is the given condition? So what they told us, just look at here. X inverse is equal to x. Then only you have to write those elements in your set. Okay. So I'm going to write now elements here. Here, look at here. X. It means inverse of one is one. Therefore, it is come under our set. But here, this is not possible. Okay. So now here this is different. Here x inverse does not equal to x, but in the four inverse is four here. So this is also possible, and seven inverse is equal to thirteen. This is not possible. Uh, so this is also not possible. But here x inverse is equal to x possible. Eleven inverse is equal to eleven. Therefore it is possible, and this is also not possible. And the last one fourteen is also possible here. So now what is the cardinality of this one? This is Nothing but four. It means on this side only four elements are present here, guys. Okay. So uh, this type of questions also they asked in our examination. So first, uh, if they asked for this type, then what you have to do? First, just construct your uh, u of fifteen or u of y, yeah, whatever it is. So after that, just uh, here they're asking for me in for finding the inverse. So here I find the inverse. Okay. For you, if they ask for finding identity and whatever it is, so then you have to find those conditions here. So after that, you have to check the given conditions. So after that, you have to write the elements and just check the cardinalities. Okay. So this much, guys. Here, if you want to, the if you want more examples, so just let me know. Uh, there are so many examples for. The step with me. So just pin me in my WhatsApp group, and I'll provide you questions too. Okay. I hope this video get helps to you all. 
if you like the video give a big thumbs up and do do share it with your friends and your colleagues too guys okay so in the next lecture 10 we will see about the symmetric set and whether that symmetric set is group or not and for examples okay thank you thanks for watch my video see you in the next lecture until then take care bye bye guys